making a video for me. Why? Sorry? Why? So here we are guys, we're on this super pedestrian scooter, which is uh, Nottingham's own hire scooter scheme. So we are not on an illegal scooter, we are on a lawful scooter. And we've just come to this place here, which looks quite interesting. And there is no signs to say what it is so far. So let's have a look. Let's get the main camera out see if we can work it out so it is quite big a nice size it has got good security gates on there but there is uh, pedestrian access as you can see the gatehouse is uh, located just there with a nice barrier to restrict vehicle access but yeah there is no signs no signs to say what the place is so Let's get a little bit closer, see if we can see anything else that gives us a clue on what it is. Look at that. Not one sign on the whole place. How weird. And I wonder what that used to be, whether it used to be a, like a way bridge or some sort of security as it raises or anything like that. I don't know. But there is one vehicle down there that says Sherwell, whether that's a contractor whether that's the name of the place we're yet to find out so let's hop onto google see what we can find what is this place mate paul smith, paul smith what the clothing brand yeah. oh right okay there ain't no signs anywhere is there no. do they want to try and keep it hush hush are they yeah. <laughs> what you've just told me like that yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, I just do YouTube videos and I go around places that are unsigned right. just to try and work it out. There's one around the corner. Yeah. It's I, sh a... I shouldn't probably turn YouTube right. What, this place? Yeah. No, the one around the corner is more um, severe. Right. They make guns. Really? Yeah, just, just literally over here. Huh? You, you ever heard of um, Heckler and Kosh? Yeah. Yeah, that's where they're made. <laughs> So it's interesting viewing for people, you know, all these unmarked buildings, what's actually happening inside. Yeah. And Paul Smith, it's not cheap, is it? No. What's your role there? I said too much. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh dear. Paul Smith. Right, let's see if uh, Google confirms that. If you have a little Google there, you've got Paul Smith Limited, Lenton, Nottingham. But let's have a little bit of history on Paul Smith then. Sir Paul Briley Smith, C-H-C-B-E-R-D-I, is a British fashion designer. His reputation is founded on his designs for men's clothing, but his business has expanded into other areas as well. Smith was made a royal designer for industry in 1991. So let's go and see exactly uh, how welcoming they are. See how far you can get uh, with the public access. I'm just doing a video about the place, mate. Is, Paul, is it Paul Smith headquarters? Yes. Yeah. Does it go all the way back to the um, the railway then? It does, yes. It yeah. Is, yeah. Do all they the... actually make the garments here? I have no idea. I'm just uh, obviously security. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. just for today here. Oh, just one day yeah, only? Just one right. day, so obviously I'm not uh, the regular part. Yeah. Well, I'll stay outside anyway, because um, I presume all that's restricted area, yeah, is it? It is, because the vehicles, you know, they're yeah. uh, yeah. out so just for your so safety and security. Yeah, I'll stay outside. I'm just going to send the drone up, because I want to see um, how big the place is, get an aerial shot. Yeah, you might, you might need to, uh, to ask, you know, there's a reception around the corner. Okay, I'll go and ask. So if you yeah. go there and obviously ask them if they let you, you know, then you sleep. I don't all right, mate. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to put the main camera down while I go in here. I'll just leave the body cam on. So let's see how it goes. Let's ask permission to fly the drone.
the security manager said that um, I'm just going to take the drone over just to do an aerial shot of the place just for my social media. He just said, just check with you in here to let you know in case anyone gets worried. All right, okay. Oh, I like that. Never been seen. Yes, he loves his uh, colour color stripes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do they actually make stuff here? Yeah. Oh, you make the garments here? Right, accessories. But mainly it's just where stuff come in and then out to the stores, is it? Oh, is it, is it the main distribution place? Yeah. Oh, right. And then all the um, designers and stuff are based here as well. Does the main man ever come here himself? Is it next week? Wow, you are lucky. Oh, have you? <laughs> well, it looks clean enough to me. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, she was so pleasant. Put me off. I'm walking on the, the road there. How nice was she, eh? You can't get any more welcoming than that. If you could make your own receptionist, she would be it. So, switch over to the main camera. Let's uh, go and take the drone off from next to the scooter. And we've still got line of sight down there. And we'll see how big the place is. So let's get David out, the drone assisted visual information detective. And we must get David his own intro. I might make one up and slot it in just here.
making a video for me. Why? Sorry? Why? That's just like asking someone, uh, why are you eating that sandwich? Isn't it? What's he going to say? Huh? <laughs> oh, you're talking to your colleague. Oh, yeah. This guy's flying a drone over there, Joe. Joe? Why? Who are you, sorry? So, I'm... Um, I'm from the building. Okay. Yeah, so, are you filming our building? I am, yeah. Anybody right. can film your building, any building at all. So, what is your interest in filming our building? Well, it's an unsigned building right. at first. Then it became to be um, Paul Smith headquarters. Uh -huh. uh, you're expecting the main man next week. You've got a lovely mini inside. Okay. Lots, lots of interesting things to see here. Right. I make videos that are interesting for my YouTube channel. What's your, your YouTube channel? Well, depending on how well this conversation goes, I might give you that at the end. So far, it looks like you're trying to tell me not to do it. Well, from what you can understand from our situation, we've got somebody with a camera over our facility, and therefore I'm going to ask you questions about why you've got that. I'm, appreciate I'm answering. You. I'm answering for yeah. you. So you're making a documentary, is that what you're doing? Just a, a video of interest. So every day I put a video out on my YouTube channel uh -huh. of where I've been what I've found interesting and right. I try and make it as interesting as I can. Uh -huh. These unsigned buildings go down very well. Okay. You've got one just over here actually. You've actually got um, an unsigned building over here that makes guns. Did you know that? Yeah. Ammunition. Yeah. Heckler and Kosh. Yeah. Uh, not many people know about it. Right. But the world where the video goes out. So you're, you're, you, you film unmarked buildings. Yeah. And then put them on the internet and tell your users yeah. What they are. Tell everyone. Yeah. Tell yeah. everyone what they are. And in this case, it's brilliant. Yeah. People in the local area would already know. Yeah. Okay. But it's interesting from arrival to the, to departure uh -huh. of what happens. Right. Okay. This is also a classic example. People are interested. We remain polite. We tell them everything we can. Mm -hmm. You may not want your building to be on social media. Yeah. But being out in the public with a camera, um, I know it uh, sounds a bit insulting, but you're powerless. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, if you can remain this side of the gate, because we're not yeah, giving you permission to come on to sign. Of course. And would you mind telling us who, who your channel is? Um, I'd, I'd rather not, because um, this gentleman hasn't said a word since he first approached with, with like, you know, the sort of nature that you approached. It was like I was doing something wrong. Well, well, in all I, fairness I, I, to, to, to Jody, yeah. he's been in the business for two days. Is very much. Oh, have starter. you? So why would you think so. of approaching a member of the public then, being just two days old? Because I, I've just walked. Because I'm <laughs> just walking down, and I've, I saw a drone, and I thought straight away. Yeah. That's not right. I would, I would have thought you would have needed permission to be honest. He's, he's well in his right to be able to ask you a question. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Uh, anyone can ask. So that's that's the answer to your question. You, there. you can ask right? the the. the YouTube channel and I can decline. Well, of course, if you let me know what YouTube channel is. I'll decline, decline then. I'll decline. But how could I do that if I don't know what it is? <laughs> no, you've, had, you've asked for the channel name, haven't you? Yeah. So I'll just decline to give it to you. Right, <laughs> now, you'll be able to find it, mate. You, if, once you search Paul Smith, are you going to take my photo, are you? No, no, I'm not. I'm just going to speak to uh, my advisors because I'm not quite... It's quite... This conversation is very difficult, I think. Yeah. Trying to sort of have yeah. a normal conversation yeah. with you. Yeah. And I think you're being quite guarded. Yeah, I'll just. For whatever reason. I can see where it's and going. I'll just stick the mask on in case. Uh, no, no, I mean, if it's easier, there you go. I'll put my phone away. I just wanted to make a it's phone just, It's not a normal procedure for me that when someone gets the phone out, mm -hmm. I'll just cover up because it's called creating privacy in a public place. It's one Which of the less. You're clearly not giving at all. You're, you're, you're coming and signing and falling out building yeah you're then being extremely guarded about what you're planning on doing with it you're not telling us who you are or why you're doing it it's great isn't it that the member of the public can stand outside of a camera so why are you doing it because it's quite antagonizing wouldn't you agree no 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 I, i've not approached anybody but i'm, no, I'm, I'm staying... approaching you and you're you're being you're, you're withholding information and then you're being quite elusive with the information as well would you say that you're entitled to the information then i think i'd be as a member of the public as well entitled to ask you the question and you are so do you, do you are you entitled to the answer would you say i don't think anyone's entitled to anything but out of courtesy i'm sure you'd agree that that would be a nice thing to do courtesy is a two-way street so the way you i was approached let's then, just ignore Jody no for two i can't minutes, ignore it I'm, I'm talking to you i can't we're talking, ignore it we're having a conversation so let's just forget Jody because you're using that as an scapegoat for the moment i can't ignore it it's happened and you're all apart right, let's go <laughs> can you just keep an eye and make sure it doesn't come this side of the
So there they go. We'll put them on screen now. There's the two guys. <laughs> Could they have handled that better? What do you reckon? Why did the guy, who's only been at the company for two days, feel that it's in his power to come out and question a member of the public who's making a video? So we've now got the security guard there who's been said, keep an eye on him. <laughs> so yeah, we had a look over with the drone. We can see a few things down there in the skip, but apart from that, it all looks very tidy. But we have had a word with the main guy. He was a bit unsure at first, but um, eventually he just says, ah, just leave him alone. We'll leave him to it. But we can see that he's just over there now on the phone. I'm not sure who is on the phone to. But he's trying to get some clarification on whether it's allowed, maybe. So let's see where this leads. Put the camera over there. Not getting you. Right. <laughs> well, you don't mind. <laughs> some people mind, some people don't. I just don't know nowadays. Is your era? Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. Uh, I've been uh, told the manager, can you please move from here? Because this, this is road belong to our property. What about this access road here? Can if, I... if you just go beyond that point, then you should be fine. But obviously we, we yeah. actually... Do do you know the little access road just there that goes into their property? It's, but this is this is our road, you know, so you have to move from here because I have a, I've been told by the manager, so that's why I'm just asking you. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a likely request. So, so, so what I'm saying is, right, we can move off your private land, but this area here, you see how you've got a sign there saying no loading? It says no loading Monday to Friday, yeah? It's nothing to do so, with no, let, let me just explain, okay. right? The council put that sign there okay. because parking restrictions apply on this road okay. because it's owned by the council, yeah? Your land starts just there. So you- This is, this is belong to, you know, the Paul Smith. Go and tell him. Also, so I can't, I, I, that's why I'm asking you, Steve. Yeah. Who are you anyway? I, I'm security here. Where's your SIA badge? I do have SIA badge with me. Yeah, you're not a security guard unless you've got it on show. I do have it with me. Show me then. I can't, I know, but I assure you. Okay, if you're not going to show me, then you can go away because you're not a security guard to me unless you've got that on show. Do you understand? It's within your policy. The, yeah, S the police will The SIA okay, okay, rules, the SIA I, guidelines. I do have SIA here. Yeah, well, put it in there then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all because... No, you have to have it on show. Because sometimes the people pull it. You have I, to have it on show. I know it's a show, but obviously sometimes the people pull no. it for my safety as you, well. You have to have it on show. Okay, okay. So cool. pop it in there then. I will, I will do it. You're trying to tell me to move off a public road. I've just showed you it's controlled by the council. Yeah. This is not, this is our you property. have not even got your SIA badge on show. So you're in breach, not me. This is our property, mate. Right. I'm not talking to you because you've not got your SIA badge on show. I do have SIA badge. Put it in there. Here. I, 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 I'm a licensed officer. Okay. Well, so how am I supposed to know if you've not got it on show? Because you're filming in me. You're filming. So it. what? I don't, want to be, I don't want to be my identity. Go back in your gate house then. On, 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 see, on uh, YouTube and everywhere. Well, you are. Yeah, I don't want to be. You know, why are you, you putting me? Well, you know, why don't you stay in there then? Yeah. Because this is our problem. No, it's not. Listen, the council, the council have put that sign up there. Okay. They have, they have uh, chosen. We call the police. And they have chosen yeah. to put restrictions onto this piece of road. That's okay. I don't so you that. don't own it. The council own it. Okay. Okay. No, worries. but the police will be here. And why are you wasting police time? Well, I didn't waste it, mate. They called it. This is their what's property. It, what's his name that's called it? I don't know, mate. Because I will be making you a complaint. You should ask him when he was there. You should ask him what his name if, is. If, yeah, but I didn't know he was going to waste police time. Uh, don't tell me he's rang 999. He's I not, is it? I don't know who, he, who called him, mate, obviously. You wouldn't ring 999 for this, would you? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm obviously used to management and their, their, their property and their building. Do you feel like me standing out here taking a making a video about the building is anything wrong i can't say anything mate. yeah I, but come on let's let's put common sense to it i i can't it's, it's not it's not my place my property so i can't say i can't give you permission. yeah but does it make sense or not no uh, comments mate. Look, okay let's say if it was your building yeah your business would you call the police for somebody standing outside of a camera i don't know it's a, it's, it's, it's this situation different when you're on my building obviously i can't say on their behalf because when i came into you i was nice and polite weren't i you well that's all i say we are polite to you as well we're asking you no you're asking me to move off 
yeah, of council it, land. Because this is not council. They're saying it's belong to them. It's the iron right. structure from the management. Listen, do you know these double yellow lines? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know if a vehicle parked on these double yellow lines, then the police would get involved, wouldn't they? Well, okay. Th they'd get a ticket, yeah? So why would the police get involved if it's your land? Okay, no, they, they are coming and they will tell you. So you can... Uh, it's not your land, is it? Well, they, they will ask to you, they will tell you that, who is it, they're, they're coming, but that's all I say. My friend, why are you just like being a robot? You've, you've got your own opinion. I, These double I, yellow lines I don't and that have sign. Any opinion. So I said all I have, you know, from the management to please, could you move from here because this is belong to Why us. would I move off a public road? That's all I'm saying to you. I'm just making a <coughs> request to move on from here. This is belong to us, but you're not listening. This sounds me. absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Are you going to make any sense of this or not? Uh, all I'll ask is, can we help you with anything? Yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's very want, simple. What is it you want to film? I make videos, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, my videos are made when a building hasn't got a sign on it. Yeah. I simply make a video and try and work out what it is. Now, well, well, I tell you. Yeah, I know, but... Then you don't have to film it. There was nobody around. Okay. And I did ask somebody that was leaving. Yeah. And I did get a bit of information. But my video is about working it out ourselves and then taking why? the... Listen, then taking the drone up so that we can understand why the company has decided to try and stay a bit anonymous it's yeah not, not trying to stay anonymous at so all. why would you not have a sign just to promote well, yourselves we, what we're trying to promote okay let's not use the word promote just to be identified we don't want to be identified yeah the question is why no reason at all there must be you recording now i'm in a public place i record You're everything place. yeah yeah that's fine and now now let me just explain yeah. do you know these double yellow lines and that parking restriction there yeah. that means this area is council land so fine. this is public fine, okay. so by sending your your security man out to tell me to move yeah. that is not going to let's get straight get straight i haven't thank you haven't. well thank you for that did, did you give that instruction yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's not on mate that. that's a bit well, bad for we me do own the land this this road is belong to us you will not own the land because uh, 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 we'll double check that first all i want to know is help you and i'll give you okay. all, the, all the information that you need well, and then you can move on you are brilliant right yeah. so we've had some, some staff feel quite intimidated by the fact that you're filming all right so you... I'm just trying to respect their feelings. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering why they're being recorded as they're uh, entering and leaving the okay. workplace. That's let, all. let me just reply to that. Yeah. I, I'm not recording the stuff. When the last lady came out, I went like that and I said, don't worry, I'm not filming you. have got a drone overhead. You're, you are recording. Now, the camera on the drone will not get faces. It will only get the okay. building and how big it is. If we see anything open, like so the... you're not recording now, my face? Yes, yes, I'm recording. When you approach you me, I don't know if you're going to be violent, aggressive, not, abusive. Not yeah, the thing is, so, though, I, I'm rec uh, you're recording our site, and we're here because we don't know. Yeah. You're going to be violent. Well, there you go. I'm recording for yeah. us all, then. Yeah. So, this is a warehouse for Paul Smith Limited. Yeah. Do you manufacture here? Uh, no. Do you manufacture any accessories here? No. You sure? Yes. Nothing's made? Nothing's made in this building, no. All oh, right. okay. Is it like a distribution centre? Possibly, yes. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, d does it distribute to like, um, so would everything that gets imported from abroad come here and then dished out to the shops? No. So it's not... not everything, no. So have you got more than one distribution centre? Uh, in the UK? No. This is the only one for Nottingham? Yes. Right, okay. And is everything that you Sorry, ship... before you stop, can I get your name please? No. Well, that was... <laughs> right. Now... Why, why do you want to keep yourself anonymous? Do you know when you says... Why do you want to keep yourself anonymous? Do you know when you said... Can you ask... Right, I'm asking your... I'm asking... Answering your questions. Can you answer mine? Because a member of the public only has to identify himself to the police if they suspect him of an offence, right? If there's no offence committed, the member of the public is entitled to stay anonymous. Now... What is all this about? No, no, no. What is? Right, so you are, you are also entitled to stay in there because I've not asked you to come out. I try and work it out myself. But you're intimidating our staff who will leave in sight. They want to know why they're And I give recorded. you an explanation that when the staff do come out, I point the camera away. Unless... I feel that they're going to be engaging with me about my presence, like yourself and yourself. But I've always remained polite. And my conclusion of this place is actually, it is a distribution centre. You do manufacture some sort of accessories here. We don't. Well, I've had different information. I know you're saying you Who don't, told you that? But, but do you know how you just came out and says, I'll tell you everything you want to know? Yeah, when, I got into the, when I got into the realms of how many distribution centres do you have in the UK, it, you then became a bit... I told you straight away. We've got okay, one. okay. So, do you do you transport everything by road, or is, is some done by rail? Possibly. 
Come on. Depends on which market. It's not as simple as Just, yes, okay. it might be by rail. D is by rail from this building? There's no uh, there's nowhere to load No, I didn't. There. There's nowhere to load trains on this side. Yeah, so when I took the drone up, I did notice that. Would it be ideal? Would you like that if you could get onto the rail from here? Cost a fortune. Have you inquired? Yeah. Uh, some people are now moving towards the rail hubs, like East Midlands Parkway. Have you ever considered getting we closer? Every form of transportation. Oh, so you do send there anyway. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's brilliant. We are we are um, looking for good things that you're doing as well. I can see you've got a new. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I thought you're here just to find out what the building was. I want to know everything that you do, good and bad. Oh, I, I, until you identify yourself, I'm not going to give you any more information. That's fine. I can't. Is it? Is it Gary, is it? You, yes, it is. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, Gary, I know it is. And it's, I know it's no, not... Because it's your whole demeanour. You're quite. I find you quite intimidating. I've got a smile on my face. I can't tell because you're wearing a mask. No, yeah, no. Why are you wearing a mask? Because what it is, Gary, um, social media can work in favour of yourself. Yeah, yeah, no it, advice. it could work in favour of yourself because you could pop me on your social media and say, who is this guy? Do you know what I mean? So that, that's the only reason. And it's called creating privacy in a public place. So I popped my mask on. Do you know earlier? Do you know, excuse me. Do you know earlier, when you came out, I pointed the camera away, didn't I? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Carry on. There you go. Just to prove what I was saying, I am respectful of people's privacy when they're innocent. Not on site, just outside the gates. Filming, filming us, and he's got a drone. And he's asking quite... Uh, <laughs> oh dear, I was about to hear the old phone call then. Come on mate, you, you can tell that I'm no threat, can't you? We're both friendly guys, aren't we? <laughs> Is that a Paul Smith coat? Which is nice. But yeah, it just goes to show, don't it? Like, a camera can interrupt this business so much just by standing out in the public with a camera and you get all this. We've not done anything wrong. We've been polite throughout. And you've got, I presume you are quite senior in the position, in the company, are you? You're quite senior. <laughs> it comes out and I'll tell you everything you want to know and you start asking some questions and then uh, it's like, nope, not answering any more questions. You're making the staff feel uncomfortable. So anyway i'm not going to wait for the police to come on this one it's absolutely ridiculous i don't want them wasting the police's time so i think i'm just gonna wrap it up in a minute you're not on the phone to the police as well are you oh my god you've got one two and three all on the phone come on guys let's just resolve this come on i can go i can get going just tell me what the police said what, are they coming? Because what it is, right? I've not ran the police. I don't know about your, your colleague. I've not ran the police. If the police have been called, then I, I do like to wait because I don't want to waste their time. I've not ran the police. What about your colleague? Just confirm, and then I'll get going. No, I, I don't understand what is it you want to know, and I'll, I'll try and help you as much as I can. You're just being a nuisance. Right. No. By stopping the t stopping staff. You can go back to work whenever you want. I'm not coming in, and I never was. I only came in to tell your guy there that I'm taking the drone up. I didn't want him to be alarmed. He then says, I can't give you permission, but you can go into reception. So I went into reception. And I says, I'm just taking the drone up. Just going to do a video for my social media channel. He says, no problem at all. Um, I goes, oh, um, asked a couple of questions in there. She mentioned about accessories, like I said to you earlier. And I also saw the mini, which is brilliant. No one's ever seen that before. And the channel is going to get the exclusive on that. Now, she also mentioned the main man is popping in soon so no i know you don't want to say I, but I, I don't know no i know i know that so everything was great and then i came back here and just as i was flying the drone i then got had the conversation with your colleague there that's all so it's just us wanting to cooperate and what, you know you've got to understand we want to know we want to know why you recorded our side that's all why and wouldn't I, anyone you know if someone <coughs> flew over your house i never fly over houses ah, no i didn't say that i said if someone flew a drone over your house would you want to know why if they flew it over my business, I'd be less alarmed. But if they flew it over my house, yes, I'd want to know if they're... Well, well what's the difference? This is, because this is no one's sunbathing. No one's sunbathing in the garden. And no one's got kids that are out playing in the garden. That's the difference. Well, let me, can I talk without Go you? Go on, sorry. Well, people might... We want to know why you're filming outside, like we would if I was filming your business or your home. 
Yeah, do you feel like I've, I've told you that? No, you've not told me. Okay, you I'll, I'll just tell you again. I've asked for your name and you won't give it me. Do you want to know why I'm filming the site? Yes, I would. Okay. I really would appreciate M it. Because it's not signposted, yeah. it looks a mysterious building. It's not mysterious. Well, if, the you, if, you went on, if you went on Google Maps, it'd tell you what the building was. Uh, well, I'm not on Google Maps. Well, why don't you? You've got all your, you've got a, you've got a drone, you've got cameras. Why haven't you just gone and find out what the site is? Okay, that's a, yeah, and that's a very good question. Out. So I just wonder why you're trying to film it. So that's a very but good it's question. It's quite easy to find out what the site is. And that is a good question. Yeah. But we go on site and we we walk around places. I'm on site now. I'm on your site, am I? Yes. What about now? Well, I'd say. What about there? Is that all right? Say where you are. Look, you see, you see this, you see this line, guys. There. All this information is free to find. Listen. And I just wonder why you're harassing staff. No, no. You can go. You're, you're free stopping, to go whenever you want. You've been stopping staff. No, I haven't. Leaving. No, I haven't. You stopped a lady, what, not five minutes To prove ago. a point, what I've just said but to you. you. But you stopped her on the way out. You accuse me of filming your staff. I wanted, to, I wanted to prove filming otherwise. Now. Yeah, because you could, you could easily turn. You could easily I'm change. I'm not planning on turning whatsoever. I tried, want to try and help you with what you want to try, what information. I did have some questions. We was getting there, but when we got to rail, and about me not at all we we explore all forms of transportation and that's great that's great um, i noticed you've not got solar panels on the roof is there any reason why uh, i don't know I okay don't know. because that would be a great investment why are you walking away again oh, because i choose to i'm, I'm giving you I'm, I'm talking about good and bad you know, the initial thing was you wanted to know what the site was i've answered your questions about what the site used that i don't know what more i can do for you well you can just ask them two more questions would you consider... I, I would, you won't give me your name oh. on your social media channel. I'd like to know who I'm talking to. And that says, That's all I want to know. Not even, the police, not even the police can get that. I want... Because you're not, we're not committing you, an offence. Why do you want to stay uh, secret? Why, yeah, why, why do you want to stay like, uh, well, anonymous? And I've also, answered, I've also answered that. I'll answer it again. Do you know when you had your phone out? That's when I put the mask on, agreed? No, because... No, you had your mask on when I first came out. Well, somebody had their phone you out. always had your mask on since Okay, been a, the first know. person to get the phone out today, that's when my mask was put on. Do you know when I first approached you earlier, did I have my mask on? Yes. Sorry? Yes, you put it up after that. So... Do you, do you have any license for When I, when when I first go? approached you, yes. did I have my mask on? No, there was no mask on. No mask? No, there was no mask. No mask. Yeah. Alright, so no mask when I first arrived, alright? So we've, we've confirmed with your security guard, no mask when I first arrived. When your guys get their phones out to put me on social media, my mask comes on. Now, if you don't want to be on social media or YouTube or Facebook, you should have popped a mask on, that's all. Anyway, I'm going to go now. This is all getting a bit silly. It didn't need to be this way. It, honestly, it did not need to be this way. I've tried to help you as much as I can. Well, you didn't. Well, okay. let, let's let the viewers decide on that, yeah? Well, I will. <laughs> the old thing's going on, mate. This is my this is my experience of this building today. When I've tried to help you. Okay, if you feel that way. I've tried to help you. I've, I've, asked, I've, I've answered some of your questions. If you feel satisfied. All you've done is uh, you know, stop and try and intimidate staff. Well, we'll agree to disagree on that because I've showed you proof that I didn't. Uh, but, you, but it's the secrets in the editing, isn't it? Well, the lady, when I said to the lady, did I point my camera away when you exited earlier? What was her answer? Well, I can. The, the video will find it anyway. Right, I'm going to make the decision to de-escalate this now. I'm leaving. It's you that's escalated it. Well, by, okay. By not sharing who you are. Okay, what's your... such a secret? You're Gary Crowell, yeah? Yeah. What's your name? I'm not a liberty too. There you go, Gary. He doesn't want to, neither do I. I is that fair though? Well, he doesn't want to. It's so, my right not to give you my name. Yeah, and I like that. We all have rights, don't we? You've got my name, so why can't you give us your name? Why is it uh, Ashley College, why, why wants to withhold his name? The same reason we respect our privacy. You've decided to come out with that high vis on. Ah, so, okay, will you respect my privacy and not put me on social media? If you had prof professionally behaved. Uh, so I've respect, you know, you've said respect privacy. Well, respect my privacy and don't put me on social media. Declined. So you won't respect my privacy then? Is that what you're saying? Gary? Do you have a license to fly the drone? Yes, thank you. Okay. Can we see it? I'd like to see it. I'm quite interested yeah. in that. It's just like asking me for my name. Only certain people have the right to see that. No, Gary, it's the law. It's the law. Fine, fine. 
So, as I says, I'm going. I'm going to retreat now. Retreat. Yeah, because you could have easily gone back I to work. To stand on the pavement as a HGV car. Thank you. What, what did you, you just said his name. He don't want me to know his name. Gary, <laughs> you're me. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, right, guys. That's it, right, look, we can help you as best as you, as you like. If you want to know some more questions, that's fine. Yeah, why, but if you write to us, you know, it's fine. <laughs> the, the information is all about what the site is. It's all quite easily available. From a member of the public that's not from the area and I didn't know what the building was I'm just interested in how you do things I go around lots and lots of places like this I see good things I see bad things the viewers love solar panels that's the question about that if your company invested in solar panels you would reap the rewards very quick and you'd also be helping the environment we yeah do, we do have a selection of solar panels I didn't spot any on the roof there's a massive area there that you could benefit from the rail thing that's a big a big positive and um, some people are getting access directly onto the rail network to take hdvs off the roads that was all the question was about that that's all i wanted to see what you're doing good and what you're doing bad gary if you'd have said i've come to see uh, find out about your site and what you do for xyz we may have been you just came up we want to know what the site is why are you being a secret no you came up to me gary and you says what are you doing this for what are you doing that for well, you're I'm questioning my legal activity anyway do you know, the, a, the experience has been what it is, right? We're all going to learn from it. May, maybe not Gary, but I've learned a few things, right? Okay, are you going to learn anything from this? Uh, I don't know, what do, you, what, did you, what do you want me to learn? Well, for starters, if somebody's filming outside, leave the iVis inside where your name is on show, right? If the, you think they've got a camera, just pop a mask on then you're definitely not going to appear on social media are you no. so there's a couple of things there like i've learned from previous instances like this when people get the cameras out just pop mine up else i'm going to be on some someone's facebook saying who is this man reward reward for his name <laughs> yeah and you gary i'm going to leave now thank you very much well look if, if you'd have come to site and was more wanting to know I think the way that you've approached it perhaps, if we're all going to learn something like you says, if we're all going to learn something, the way that you've probably come about is that you've, you've made everyone panic a little bit. Can I just reply? Let, let me, let okay, me just okay. finish what I'm going to say and then maybe we can have a conversation about it. But the way that you've maybe come with your cameras and with, you know, standing on site makes people instantly go, oh, why are you doing that? And we're not a closed company. We're not a company that's not going to give out information that you want. And the questions that you just has, asked there are actually quite interesting. And I would happily have answered them if I wasn't already in protection mode of the business. And I think maybe if you'd have written to us in the first instance, or maybe asked to have an appointment, I would have happily have sat in there for half an hour and given you all the information for your YouTube channel. And we probably would have allowed you to do filming, but because you've come without no, well, like you've said, you're this side of the barrier, so you can do it as you wish. But because you've, we've engaged you, and then you've taken the opportunity to film us then, and then we've then got into some kind of a rooted communication, it's then made it a bit more, harder That's to communicate with you would you not agree yeah yeah i would agree right but i don't plan these visits so i didn't know i was coming to paul smith today i'm just wandering yeah. around and the first subject of the day was the arms um the, the make the, the guys around the corner the, the make cut. yeah, yeah weapons okay. there and in fact five minutes later armed police arrived and they're, mm. they're, they're questioning me why are you doing this i'm just guys i'm just doing a, a photography from a public place yeah, okay yeah. bye so then i've just uh, my next our line of sight is looking for the building that's unsigned and it just so happened to be you and mm -hmm. I pleasantly went up to your gentleman there mm -hmm. without the mask and just asked him so what is the place first day I don't know go and see reception mm -hmm. went in there she was brilliant and then I've told you the rest so I've come back out here just to do my video that's when the other guy who hasn't been with your business long couple of days I think he then told you that I was doing something wrong maybe and we all got off on the wrong foot yeah okay. so I know in an ideal world somebody would plan this sort of thing to find out more but it's not the way I do things I'm just walking around I'm not from the area and I'm just taking it as it comes okay and whatever happens afterwards we all just try and be as professional as we can yeah I, I appreciate that so I, I am sorry it's, it's turned out the way it has and I, I do see that you are uh, now being Brilliant, well, actually. You know, you've got, I guess you, what you've got to see is that we are going to protect this business, as is anyone else around here. And I think a gentleman like yourself who's going to be filming straight away is going to cause us an amount of concern. 
and I guess maybe I'm calm right now, but prior, I was a bit like, what's going on? This has never happened before. We've never had a gentleman film in our site before. Yeah. So therefore, I'm going to be a bit more yeah. abrasive. Well, not necessarily abrasive, but a bit more, well, why are you here? What, yeah. What's going on? So, do, the, do you see maybe then how we've es escalated to a position whereby we're all a bit... Yeah, yeah. Community, communicative. But a part, of, a part of my channel is, as long as you're filming in a public place, if other people can't handle that, it's sort of their own fault sort of thing. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, it's it, it, it's so to, unusual, ain't it? It's hard to put blame on somebody that didn't know they were going to be entering into something. You know, if I, if I said I was, if I would say, for instance, that I, um, I failed a driving test, but I never went into the test in the first place, you can't then blame me for not practicing the driving test. It's a bit like that. It's, it's, you can't say that people it's their own fault if they don't like to be filmed or... Yeah, you know what I mean? I yeah. think that there's been no prior... I think courtesy, do you know? If you'd have said to me today, yeah. I would well, like to come and film you and talk to your business, I would have come out and said, that's fine, we'll go sit in the meeting room and we'll, we'll talk yeah. about it. And I would happy have let you film. Do you know when I was just minding my own business flying the drone, mm -hmm. I was approached by your staff member. Uh, who that, so. And, and at that moment, so. I wasn't pointing a camera on yourself or him. But you, you did straight away, right? Because what happens afterwards needs to be evidence uh -huh. because some people they just put hands on straight away yeah. and they and then that's them guilty of an offense of assault mm. i just need to capture the evidence that's all so we're all we're all good mate yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, anyway yeah, yeah. like you look like you're very important to this business please go back i'm gonna go i'm gonna go you go no, out no, to no, no, look look all i, all I want to say is in future like you were just talking about lessons to be learned right if you do want to come to this site, and you do want to have more information, you do want to film, that's absolutely fine. But you just need to speak to us. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be on guard. Why is there a guy sat outside filming our building? Just let me reply. Do, do you know what I mean? Every, we're, going to, we're going to start freaking out, aren't yeah, we? Anybody every, will around here will start freaking out. Every person available to talk to, I did. I went yeah. to the gatehouse and I said, I'm filming, I'm flying a drone. He said, please ask the receptionist. So I went in there. I wasn't and I, on site at the time, otherwise I could have probably But, but when you, when you say, time. ask us, I did, my friend. It was only then when I was approached by, by you guys, whilst in mid-flight, mm. it started to go wrong. And... <sighs> can, can we just leave it there? Well, I think, if, if I may, I think that I'll, my colleague, myself, I would not like to be on social media. I think that if you can remove us from social media, you can film right. if you wish. My friend. But, but it's, it's, our, it's our right to not A, ask you to film us in the first instance, and B, then give you consent to then post that imagery with whatever you will. There's, there's a certain law behind that to not ob obstruct my privacy. Is that not correct? The thing with privacy, right, each platform has their own privacy policy. Mm -hmm. So there is no law, right, it's a policy on the platform. Mm -hmm. So if somebody puts your name or your image onto a platform, you've got to use the, po the platform tools to get it removed what if that individual hasn't got said account with said platform and then that individual will never see it but then hasn't had consent into those rules in the first instance because i know that one's got like a little tripod on it hasn't it a gimbal yeah just, so to, called, a gimbal. just to stabilize it so i can be shaking my hand if i want to and it, it will still be yeah. stable footage quite cool no um yeah going back to what i was saying if We've, if, if when I came onto site, you were straight there with your camera. So, uh, so was my other two colleagues. So I didn't really have an opportunity to say, "Well, I don't want to be filmed." Um, and I guess that answers your question about the consent side of it. Just, just say you're in a town centre and there's there's people I'm filming. On oh, come on, Gary. Okay. okay. It, where's the re where's that access end? So. At the road end, so Lenton Lane. So we own this road. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, it's alright, no problem. Alright, uh, yeah, alright. See you later. Bye. You can come through, I'll point the camera away. See, I noticed they're a bit unsure about the camera. So well, I think this is where the problem is. There's probably yeah, about 30, 40 staff in the time you've I'm been going, here. I'm going, I'm going now. No, no, in the time you've been here, there's probably about 30, 50. Yeah, I was, but mm. your colleague here is wanting to talk. Gary, <laughs> come on. 
No, right, what it is, what it is, this may be land that you own, right, mm -hmm. but with it having public access and council parking restrictions on, that means, say like if um, I park my car here and you rang the police and they wanted to enforce some sort of parking fine on me, then that just proves it's public land. If I parked on your land inside your gates, the police would say, well, we're not doing anything about that because it's your land. So it's, there's just a difference. I know Gary's trying to say he's on our land, blah, 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 but I do actually want to leave. So, go on, you're okay. There's, it's, we're obviously coming towards shift change time now, so I am going to go. So are you, are you recording as well then? Do you have a microphone? Yes. So, so is that on the actual camera that's the yeah. microphone? Yeah, these holes here all the way around. So you've recorded every part of our conversation and filmed the whole... Yeah, on to... Do you know when we... Oh, do you know when... work for David Attenborough or something, because it's so compact what you can do nowadays with all your gear. Yeah. Wow. So we just go to interesting places. Uh -huh. we, we try and find out what they do. We always take the drone up because the viewers love it. Mm -hmm. we, we see what they're doing good and what they're doing it's bad. It's like Big Jet TV. A bit, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, There's another one as well. I used to listen to, I think it was Top Fives. Yeah. Um, so I get it, I get what you're doing. And say like if you've got electric charging points across mm -hmm. here, which you haven't... That so are you working for the council then somewhere? No. Or are you then feeding through some sort of uh, census once you gather information independently? Maybe? No. I, I'm that could be a good angle for you, you know? Well, I, I actually go to police stations that we pay for as a taxpayer uh -huh. and I find faults. Sometimes they've not got a disabled cord in the toilet that reaches the floor. How do you get a camera in there? Or do you actually go in? I walk in, yeah. Oh, right, and right. I, they, sometimes they don't like it, but uh -huh. they cannot deny you access to a toilet. And right. when you see the dis disabled pull cord and it ends halfway mm -hmm. and you think that a disabled person could fall on the floor and when they want to pull the cord, they can't reach it. So there is actually guidelines. There is f health and safety rules that everybody has to stick to and that's one of them so as i'm going around a police station and highlighting these things the the police stations there was one knife amnesty bin for example and it, it wasn't secure it wasn't on an anchor point so anybody could just go in there and walk it out right. well two days later i had an email from the uh, superintendent telling me that thank you for highlighting that we've removed the knife amnesty bin from public lobby and we're now going to put an anchor point in so okay. We, we, so in a way then you are doing a, a service that's just independent that's when we go to a police station because they are interested and people want to see that mm. but people also want to see these mystery buildings mm. and have you uncover them but this one wasn't really trying to be be secret I mean, we're not, we're not, like i said to you like gary was saying i think that we're not we're not wanting to necessarily be we're in the middle of an industrial estate yeah, but sh you know, I mean, our, our, you're not proud our head, office, our head office in London for instance has got a big sign that says Paul Smith outside of it we're not sure yeah, why are you proud to, to put a sign outside the Nottingham one not, not proud or proud no, to what? surely a company like yourself will be proud to say we're here well, we've just never really thought about it there, there will be some thought there well uh, no there really hasn't <laughs> no there hasn't we've got um, a near enough <laughs> amount of access all of the people that come to this building are not aware of it and they you know they we never have a problem with visitors or so we just don't yeah there's never been a demand for it i guess but the shops for instance the shops say portion fall over of course them because you know you, you want public for a shop yeah yeah it so, just seems every single business uh -huh. like there was one on the sign there that's anyway every single business we, we could, we could have Possibly put a sign outside reception. I think that's the only sort of level of sign that we've got at Keen Street. It's just a big, it's just a small sign that says Paul's yeah. on it. But we wouldn't ever go out and advertise out there. I mean, they've got a showroom side, but then that's, they're advertising a showroom. Yeah, they want the public to come in, but whereas you don't, you, you would rather the public not come and approach you. It's like any headquarters, you're not, not, you're not an open public entity. You're yeah. your headquarters. It's like any headquarters, isn't it? Yeah, but so. there's, there's a place near me and it's called Mattel Toys. Mattel oh, toys. Oh, it's in Bradford. No, it's it's, uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> no, it's in Leicester. It's not far. Leicester. And um, there's a reason why they don't want people to go there. There's a reason why people don't want them knowing they make guns. There's a reason for everything, and we just we try and see why. Why would you choose to stay incognito, anonymous? But I can't see anything that you're. Uh... If if I'm really honest, it's not that interesting. We've got. Um, teams of people helping our business grow and making sure that we're running properly just like these guys next door just like those guys yeah. in any business you see down here you'll have departments that help run a business and that's what that is is merchandising in there no it's not no. so there is another head office some, some... Uh, yeah yeah we've got london yeah. right yeah, is yeah. london bigger in in square foot um, no 
it isn't. Right, okay. No. So does London have goods going in and out? No. Just simply office staff? Yeah. Right, okay. That's where the brains are, is it? Well, yeah, you can say that. Do you sometimes go to London? Uh, I haven't been in a while, to be fair. Right, okay. And is it also a very nice reception area in London? Yes. Right. Yeah, Does yeah. public go in there at all? Um, no, because public is, if we've got guests that we're booking in, they're yeah. not necessarily public, they're guests. Yeah, so yeah. Different. What about a staff shop? Uh, we don't have a staff shop. Right. Would you like one? Um, well, we've got our shop only up the road, so we'd, if we wanted anything, we could go and do that. And staff discount, what is it, 50%? I'm not even. <laughs> we're, so we're getting towards uh, yeah no. uh, listen mate thank you thank you right it, what, what was your name I didn't ever give it no I know that's why I'm <laughs> <laughs> obviously I don't want to force anyone's name out of them no no of course not so I, I've not uh, I've only asked your name to prove a point to Gary mm. that's all whilst you said that there was also being filmed what when you asked my name to prove that, no I knew you weren't going to give it yeah. that was only to prove a point to Gary yeah, yeah. We, we like to stay off Personal details, you know, personal. A face is not that personal because you can walk around town centre and be captured and be put on people's social media. Yeah. But you're not walking around saying your name, are you? Not necessarily. No, no, well, no, not necessarily. So nothing. Nothing like that. But no. obviously, when I go to these sort of places, sometimes people go hands on. They swear. They, they really do give themselves a bad name for the company. Yeah. But you yeah, haven't. Yeah. You haven't. No. So. Well, well, I think, like I was explaining earlier, I think like you know you mentioned us both learning lessons and but the only lesson I could ever try and maybe give to you maybe yeah, why you've had these situations before is that um, maybe the way that you would approach a business elusively with cameras would, would send alarms ringing and, and I'm sure if you owned your business and you were protected over your business and I came over with cameras and um, sighting laws and such I think you would panic a little bit and think well, why 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 and, and I think that's what then could get translated into slight tension and that's where if we're not communicating properly we end up in a position whereby it's, it's just a bit of a mess and yeah. there's anger and, and I think we kept all of this situation under control Yeah. but I can see why maybe in other buildings you've had people shouting and screaming at you yeah. because it is and quite an abrasive way of communicating with people isn't and it? You can, yeah, you, you can imagine if there was just one of you and then three photographers mm. At that moment in time, there was that in reverse. There was free staff, just me. And I was trying to sort of defend myself, trying to get my point across about, guys, seriously, there's nothing wrong here. No, no one's doing anything wrong. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there. But what, I mean, so how many like followers do you have on social media? Like, is it quite a, is it quite yeah. a enormous scope? Or yeah, is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it, is it, is it the, the platform starting with a Y and a T? Or do you, can you not disclose that? There, it's all platforms. Oh, so you've got multiple platforms. I post. To go. Well, the only the only platforms that monetize videos is YouTube and Facebook at the minute. There is Instagram, but it's quite smaller. So when I post my video out, I post one video out every day at four o'clock, just to show people where I've been on that day and, and what interesting place I've been to, right. and the interesting people that I've, I've met. Yeah, yeah, okay. So like I said before, I think the way that you're approaching it isn't the best way of doing it sometimes. Just I'm just randomly walking around and looking for anything interesting. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Come over, as, you came over quite intimidated. I didn't come over to you. I felt you quite intimidated. I just, I just standing here doing some photography. Yeah, but well, I felt quite intimidated. You know, about, I just tried to get your name, and it wouldn't tell us your name. So it's difficult to get a good repertoire. And I think report, cameras report, as well. You know, when you're filming, you're filming it's me, quite, you're in keeping your it, identity. It's like I can you know, freely talk without <laughs> to know your name. Mm. Because, like Gary's just said, with Appley take you and have a meeting with you if you'd prior book to others you want to we're not we're not shy we're not going to tell you what what doesn't happen behind closed doors we're a business of business, exactly. but ho it's, hopefully it's no we're trying to be open with you we're and you're not the being open with us yeah. you're asking things that not even your colleague would disclose well, so I told you, you, know you my name. In, in hindsight, I'm Gary. in, in I'm hindsight, Gary. Gary. I'm Gary, you are. In, yeah, I'll shake my hand. In hindsight, Gary, you wouldn't have wore that high vis, would you? Well, I've got nothing to hide. In defence to Gary, I'm, Gary I'm, wears I'm, this every day, you know. I, I, yeah. I, I get my lunch, that's why I'm wearing my coat. It's yeah. not, it's not and, and I, to him if he's wearing his high vis or not. As you was walking down or back, I didn't obstruct you at all. I would have just let you carry on. I, I wouldn't I put the camera in your face. Uh, I have had some staff feel quite intimidated. And I've tried, I've, I've tried to leave before that happens. Yeah, but you, you have made some staff feel quite intimidated. I, I can prove of it. An intimidating mask. And that, that was only because people tried to... Isn't it? Mm. There's a reason for the mask, right? 
You don't want people to know who you are. I don't want to be on your social media channel putting a wanted advert out for my name. I'm not recording. I don't want to know this guy's name. And in fact, when when we actually say your name verbally, I'm going to mute it. And there's a reason for that because that would just be, be silly of me to put someone's yeah. name out there. But we could have got, we could have shared so much mm. more. No, that's why you won't share, what, you won't share saying, your name. Yeah. You come on, you can't, you can't even ask him lots of All questions, right. but you won't even tell us what your name is. Right, Gary, do you know if I wanted to come in and sign in your visitors book and then enter your restricted area, of course you have to provide your name for the for the fire procedure. Yeah, yeah. you want to know who's on site, don't you? Yeah, of course. But I'm not on site, and and until you actually do anything wrong, your name you can remain anonymous in the law. Well, we this is we're we're deeming this as part of okay. by our deeds we own this road. So if you, if we knew your name, we could have invited you onto our site, and we could have shared. Oh, oh well, but you even share your name with us. Oh, don't be shy. Do you know Colin, that? What's your name? Your your you colleague your I colleague you name, your you colleague your, your colleague doesn't want to give his name out either. I've got I'm giving you mine. Okay, let's just focus on somebody who doesn't want to give their name and let's respect it. Yeah. I just want to get to know you a bit better. No, you don't. Well, I'd, I'd like I to do. know what your YouTube channel is, to be fair, because I'd like to see it later. To yeah, what, what, what's your YouTube channel? To see it. Honestly, Come on, you, I want to follow quite a lot of 50 yeah. minutes of okay, okay, let me just explain I'm why... why well. le, nice. Let me just explain, right? Do you know now I mentioned in the first 48 hours yeah. is where the most views happen? Yeah. 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 And that's where we earn our money, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it might take you 48 hours to, to find it or notice it's actually there. Yeah. By that time, I've had my benefit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, if I give you the channel, that gives you a head start to use those tools mentioned earlier so that I don't get my 48 hours. So, mm. so you will find it. So if we find out who you are in those 48 hours, you won't make as much money. Correct. That's got clever. So you will find it, yeah. do you know, because yeah. uh, this place will be in the um, tags. So you'll just need to search for, what is it, what is it again? Paul Smith, you'll just have to search for Paul Smith. See, I've got so many places, I forgot. I'm not targeted your place. I've just randomly targeted. come across it. I've just, yeah, but wow. <laughs> some people us. say. What have you targeted us for? Some people say why us, and there's no reason because yeah, I've just. So you what, are targeted us. What, um, not. What um, you mentioned about um, earlier, a visit that was happening. How did you know that sort of information? Because your your members of staff innocently give out little bites of information, so which I store. You, so so who, oh, who intimidated? Who, that's why. But how would no, you? No, know? I don't have no mask on. When I went in, I didn't have no mask on when I first spoke to the security guy. Yeah. He he actually has let himself down because he has not... Do you know by law, you have to have your SIA badge on display? Yeah. And uh, uh, he's got it on display now, but he didn't earlier. And he also asked me to leave public land. And after I explained to him, there's double yellow lines, there's a council sign, so please just stop asking me, he didn't stop. Come on, what's your name? Well, at least your channel. I would like to watch your videos to be fair. Okay. I do you find it quite interesting? I like abandoned videos to be fair. You know, we go to old cinemas and stuff, so I do get it. The will, you will see it, won't you? So you're happy. I won't, I won't know if I don't. Oh, know where believe to me, go. somebody will tell you that you're online. Great. Well, if I don't want to be online, though, use, we use the tools. Use the tools that the I platform no provides. To those yeah, tools. Me you, you don't. Okay, when somebody shows you where it is. I, don't, I won't know where to ask. Okay, well, when somebody says, here, here's a link, click it, right? So you'll click that. Well, I won't be able to do that at work, will I? No, no, certainly not. I can't but, do that here. No, certainly not. I don't endorse using work time to yeah. watch videos. But you know, whenever you do get time to do it, and you click it, there'll also be a button called report. And then it will say privacy complaint. Yeah. Then it will say prove that it's you. Mm. And if you want to give them your ID to prove it's you, yeah. You've gone on a lot about privacy. No, because that is your main worry. You've mentioned privacy. Well, okay, sorry. Have, sorry, Gary. Privacy. We've been talking about privacy before you was yeah. here, so that's. Right. You're right. You, maybe the privacy word has popped up whilst you're yeah. returned. Yeah. But shall we just leave it there? I'm, I'm trying to walk away, guys. I want to. Not at all. I'm, We're just happily standing here. I'm not. No fret. I'm going. Like I say, Right. I'm just, I'm just yeah. Yeah. I was on my way back, which is nice. Yes. <laughs> what, what did you have? <laughs> Do you know on the corner, just near the um, near the Games Workshop place, there's a cob van in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, all right. Gary, Joe. <laughs> Oh. And the YouTuber. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And obviously, okay. no, so, no, some people, oh, just to put your mind at rest, I won't shine you in a bad light. And um, everything has now been. We've, we've all come down. We've all ended it on a positive note. Don't lose any sleep over it. So all good. Honestly, all good. It's they've been much, much worse on the channel. Don't keep saying Not his name. <laughs> Honestly, that's your opinion, but I'm not come to do that. And it, I feel that anybody that's not involved, I've been moving the camera away. So at least I know that. All right, guys. Thank you very much. What, what it is, every city I go to, I download their app. Yeah. You upload your driving license. You then take a photo. It checks that you are that person. It, that's your guarantee then. It knows... Yeah. If, the, if you do anything bad to that, they'll send the, the civil letter to your door, the civil claim for damages. Anyway, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. You look familiar. Yeah, you do, I didn't say about 10 minutes ago. Talk to the staff. All right, I'll talk to you. Hello, guys, you're right. All right, all right. Hello, all right. So that's, uh, that's why they didn't want me to walk away. <laughs> they were trying to keep me here. Oh dear. What would you call that? Entrapment or something? When they try and keep you talking because they know the police are on their way. I told you when I was at the um, the gun factory next door. The armed police arrived. I think you've followed your cross here. We haven't called him. <laughs> oh, someone has. The viewers are going to think, Joe, that our conversation was to make me stay. Do you know? Because I was trying to leave. Yeah, we we oh, no, we were just talking to you. No, that that's what it's going to seem like. We must edit it. Oh God! Can't edit the truth, my friend. Anyway, um, no, 
So can I publicly request my face to be blanked out? Yeah, yeah. Um, is it okay to come and have the conversation? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, like I mentioned yeah, to them, Constable. Can sign something with an X, not no, a name. I don't, really I don't want my face, face on social media, on there, person. Once it goes on, then you use the platform tools, the privacy complaint tools of the platform <sighs> to get it removed. I don't want to get to that point, though. That's the thing. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather I, just... I reckon I'll get quite anxious. Yeah. So that's it. So my face was on there. Photography in public, that's not a crime at that point. Putting it online isn't a crime, but then if you don't blur the face out when the subject has asked you to, then it becomes... Like yeah. So, so you have to use the tools on the platform to request that. Isn't that, isn't that right, yeah, Constable? And in that case, you go down the civil claim route and you, you've pursued the person responsible for compensation, don't they? Yes. You have to have, if you try to film someone in public, you have to get really the consent, but it's because then to blur their, because then if you have want that person face on there that's not blurred, you would have to get them consent to do so. You have to be asked to be taken them off, like blur the face anyway. Yeah. So a lot of times, let's be honest, the blurring is not that great anyway. Yeah. So, I've seen so, so can I request the, <laughs> the exact time? Yeah, yeah. Can I request the exact times you're going to post this video so then I can then get to your channel to request that? You can certainly blurred. you can certainly ask yeah, that yeah, information, but right now I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know when it's going to be posted because it needs you to be tell edited. You the channel at least so we can watch out for it. No, because like I said to you earlier, if I tell you the channel, uh -huh. you get a head start to put the privacy complaint in. But but then there's Just, going to be a lapse of time where I'm not going to have any opportunity to do the, or follow the procedure you've asked me to but, follow. But so that's, how, how am I supposed to give myself a chance? We're all open to that, even myself. If, if I'm photographed, so like your security guy quickly takes a photograph of me and puts it on his social media, until I see that photo and put my complaint in, lots of people could it's see it. Difficult, isn't I know, but it's, yeah, we're out in public. So mm. if you want to get it removed, does, does you find the video, use the tools, and get it removed simple as that but you see this building how it's not signed mm. exactly the same as the last one yeah it's quite interesting for the viewers to see right there's another one what is it and that's all and it turns out to be the, the global paul smith brand i'd never would have known did you know no it was put paul smith i know this area so i don't know as much around this area but i mean we'd lo all love to own paul smith garments yeah mm. you're not gonna take a photo of me um, we're all, all love to own paul smith garments and it's, this is the uh, the main distribution centre, the only distribution centre in the UK. But you own some from their point of view as well, for their own personal uh, yeah. insecurity as well. I know you're also doing it from a, a, an I'm angle. just outside. Do you know if they're not approaching me? Yes. Here's going up his camera out there. Do you know if my camera's on anyway. Yeah, I'm a, I trust you. Your GDPR are regulated. They're not. Yeah, we are. No, but not personal things. Oh, not personal. He can't <laughs> put that on his social media to no, say, no. who is this man? Reward for his name. <laughs> like some people have but yeah you've got to create some privacy in a public place if you want to remain anonymous just like me so like i said i said earlier about three times speaking to joe that i'm going now and the conversation kept on going and now i know why because you was on the way so i am going to go this video is far too long no that that wasn't the case at all i was actually quite interested in what you're talking about personally <laughs> i like it i like it joe do you know when I said to you, am I okay yeah. to come oh, in? Yeah, you got authorization. And I, I got a yes. Yes. I'm now going to leave. No, thank you. Yeah, it's been pleasant, my friend. Sometimes, and you know, like I'm a good one, 
you, well, I, uh, I, I, know, I know from the other people I know. There you go, thank you. Uh, it means a lot. No, cheers, thank you. All right. Thank you very much, guys. No worries. I'll, I'll, see, gonna... you, I'll see you in the next job, sir. Uh, I've got much more time. Half <laughs> two, yeah. All right, thank you very much. So the scooter was stationary for so long that it actually timed out. So I needed to get the app back out and now it's white luck just there. That means it's ready to go. So whilst they finish off their uh, final chat, their conclusions, their lessons to be learned, etc., we are going to leave it there now. So if you have enjoyed that video, guys, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.